Hello, water signs. Thank you for uh, viewing Stella K videos. I am going to do your mid monthly. I know you guys are my last sign. I'm so sorry, but I have to do it by views. Okay, it's just the way it goes. And the way I'm feeling for like your mid month, I did a pre shuffle and a pre meditation. I'm a. Uh, feeling like you guys are going to have a pretty darn good end of July. After this, I only have three of you to go. One, two, three. Three of each. That's how the signs go. And I feel like you're going to have a darn good month. And then after this, I'm going to do the you versus them instead of the weeklies. Because you guys seem to really like the you versus them kind of things, you know? So I'm going to I'm going to do that for you. I'm going to start with an Amanda Hall uh, Tarot of Secrets deck and we're just going to do a seven uh, card spread. And then after I'm done with these tonight, your uh, you versus them will be up and you can see what the fuck they're thinking. This is not for kids. If the kids are there, get them out, put your earbuds in, phone up to here. I can say some naughty stuff. OK, so I don't label my videos for children, even though you know, I can get more hits that way. I'm here for the grown ass women. And that's like 16 and up because at this age, like, I mean, in this day and age, 16 and up is grown ass women. So let's, let's do it right now. Hit the subscribe button because I'm getting better. And I'll, I know I've only done a lot of personal readings. And if you want one, you can go to my website. All the information is below to hit me up on that. But I promise you, I always come through. Like, my clients love me, and I hope you do, too. All right, so we're starting with the world. Six of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Wands. I'm just going to move these over just a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit. So we can clarify. The Hermit and the Six of Wands. Okay, let's see what we got going on here. And under the deck for your overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Now, everyone knows, like, when you're thinking of pentacles, you know, you got to think, you know, six of pentacles, you got to be generous. Sometimes you just got to be generous. You know, you got to be generous. You got to be giving. You got to, like, you know, like this guy, look at him. He's, like, handing out, like, money to the poor. I'm not saying you got to give money to the poor, by the way. I'm, because I know everybody's hard up right now because the situation sucks. But I think right now you guys are doing all right. I mean, you guys are cancers. You're you're gonna rock it. You guys always rock it, and you're always generous. My mom's a cancer, so I know. Like, trust me, best woman on the planet. I know everyone says that about my mom. About everyone's, you know, they say that about their moms. If you're lucky, but I really do got a great mom, Vicky. I love you. Mwah. Blowing you kisses. Okay. So we're going to start here with your past energy, which is the world, which means something was going in your favor, major arcana. You guys had some stuff twisting and turning. Like you probably went through like a whole cycle of something, but you're going through a whole new cycle right now. Like you're about to change your attitude towards something. Like I said in my pre-shuffle, it was you guys are going to have a really good month love wise, but it's because you are changing your cycle. Nobody's stepping on you anymore. You're not letting people take from you. You aren't letting anyone take shit. They ain't going to give it back. You're going to want reciprocation. And that is what this new cycle is all about. That's what my little spirit mind tells me. So, you know, get it, get it, girl or boy. All right. Your present energy is the six of cups. Now, when we're looking at the Six of Cups, we're looking at nostalgia. You may be looking at a past person. I feel like you guys really did either go through a breakup or you're thinking about a past person right now. Like, you really want to get back together with this person. And this person is like, I mean, it's driving you crazy. That's why you're here. Like, this past person, you're like, what is up with this person? I was generous. I was kind. We had good booty. What is going on? We're going to find out. All right, after that, um, and your subconscious feelings is the Ace of Pentacles. When we're thinking about the Ace of Pentacles, I mean, we're thinking of new love, though. So maybe it's time for you all to go for some new love. 
I mean, Cancers are normally really attractive people. And even if you have a low self-esteem, which you should never have, I don't care what you look like, don't have a low self-esteem, there is always someone out there that will want to be with you. No matter what you think of yourself, someone is going to look at you like you're beautiful. After that, we go to the Three of Wands, okay? This may be um, a, a little bit of an influence of others or an obstacle with the, the Three of Wands. Sorry, I think I might have said that wrong. I, I, I do that sometimes. I'm real. This is my first reading of the day and every time I read, but explore new opportunities. You know, yes, the, this can be a third party situation, but in this deck, it's all about exploring. Like you need to explore your options. Like seriously, past person, new person, like do them both. I'm not saying have sex with them both. That's totally not what I'm saying. I'm saying like explore your opportunities. Okay. And after that, maybe you get your King of Cups. And King of Cups is my favorite king because he's got a big old cup of love. And you know what? He don't drink that himself. He don't run up your charge card. He don't do nothing bad to you. He's got a cup and it's all for you. You get to drink that cup. Ain't nobody else drinking that cup. You're like, hey, hey, hey. And he sits back and he's like, I'm good. You have it all, sweetie. Girl or boy. You know, there are women out there that give. Don't forget about that. All right, in your sixth position, we got the hermit here. You're going to go inwards a little bit. You're going to go inwards a little bit. You're going to think about it. And don't don't forget, we're going to clarify these. And you're going to think about old, new, old, new. You're going to go back and forth this month. You don't even know it yet, which is the funniest thing. Is someone from the past is going to hit you up, and you're not even going to be expecting it. That's what spirit says. You're not even going to expect it. It might happen a little bit after the end of July, just so you know. But you're not even going to expect it. And this person from the past is going to come back, and you're going to be, like, looking at your new, your old boyfriend sitting on the couch, eating your food and shit, and you're going to be like, hmm, I don't know. Okay. And your outcome is a Six of Wands. So when we're looking at the Six of Wands, I mean, that's victory. Who doesn't want that as an outcome? I swear I'm not even clarifying that unless we have horrible clarifications, but I don't think we're going to. I had such a good feeling about y'all. All right, my little dog Vinny is down here right now. He's a Pomapoo. So if he jumps up, there's nothing I can do about it. Come here, Vinny. Come say hi. Come say hi to Grandma. Come here. Come here. I'm going I'm to show you to everyone. This is Vinny. Isn't he gorgeous? He's my baby. He's 14. Okay, go play. No, he's not going to go play. He's getting on the couch. And he's not allowed on the couch, but he knows when Mama films. Mama's totally not going to say get down because I'm going to be nice on camera. Isn't he the cutest dog ever, though? Pomeranian Poo. Telling you get one. Smartest dogs ever. Hates getting picked up, though. <laughs> so he's like, you picked me up. You owe me a little uh, nap on the couch now. So, plus for once, all the kids are gone. I usually have my son and my nieces and nephews. I had four here last night. Well, actually for the last two days. I felt like elephants were stomping upstairs. I'm a free woman tonight, but I'm here for my water signs because I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to get this done. All right, I know you don't got all day. All right, overall energy, bottom of the deck. Not only do you got the Queen of Cups, you got the King or the King of Cups, you got the King of Rods. So not only is someone going to give you a cup of love, they're going to give you a little something else because you know what I say about wands and rods. Male phallic. And a nice one, too. Or if you have a male phallic, you'll have a decent place to put it, you know. That's what I say. For me, the, the the king of wands is like this sensual man. I know a lot of people don't explain it that way, but I just look at him like the, the he's like the man. Like good and bad, going to treat you good. You're going to hit romance. You're going to love your life. Like he's like knows how to treat a woman. He's also steady and he isn't going to let you down. So we're going to put this one over here by your other overall energy, which ain't bad. We got the generous person 
for the Six of Pentacles and the King of Rods. Not so bad. All right, the world. I don't clarify the past because you know what I say about the past? F the past. We know what happened in the past. Sometimes we want to know more. But you know what? I say forget about it. Just like Donnie Brasco. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Get it? Forget about it. You know? It doesn't matter. All right. Let's hit up the Six of Cups. Let's see. Uh, Six of Cups. I mean, you know, that's your past. So that that's a past person. So that's different. All right. Six of Rods. You had a little victory with this person at first. All right. After that, we got the Tower, tower in Reverse. So a Tower in Reverse, like... Maybe you guys needed to talk about something, but you did not. After that, Eight of Pentacles, you wanted to work on it. Maybe they wanted to work on it, too. And maybe somebody got a little stubborn. Let's see what's going on, because you wouldn't be here if you didn't need advice. But that's what I'm saying right now. I'm saying you're still going to have a good end of July, beginning of August, which I will start on tomorrow, which will be August. But... I'm saying you guys, like, are not communicating correctly. Like, there was too much shyness in this relationship. Like, you are being way too submissive with your feelings. Like, if somebody makes you mad, you tell them. And you don't get to be mean about it. You just say, listen, we need to talk. Because that tower is upside down, and I feel like that, that tower should have been upright with this past person. You should have went for it. Because sometimes people need to hear what they're doing wrong in order to make it right you can't always be submissive and i know cancers you guys are so sweet you're probably like the sweetest people in the entire atmosphere of the earth you guys will give and you will keep your composure about it and you're so sweet but sometimes you just gotta flip that tower upside down and go crazy on people all right, what do we got here? Third position, subconscious feelings. We got the Ace of Pentacles. So you're given, and I don't think you want to be given all the time. All right, we got the Nine of Rods, which is the Nine of Wands, which means, like, you know, you're trying to be prepared. You're trying to be persistent. You're trying to bring it all together, but you're holding on to that wand, and you got all these other problems behind you, and you're like, which one do I handle first? Like, you guys, that's what it means in this deck. You guys got to get it together. All right? Because you're the Queen of Cups. I feel like this is you. You're the one given the love. You are the Queen of Cups. You are given the love. But are you receiving? Were you receiving from this past person? Or maybe even your current person. I feel like you may still have a little bit of communication with this person. Not a ton. But I feel like you're getting a little bit breadcrumbed. Even though you give so much. All right, five of cups. There we go again. You guys are like, there's all these spilt cups, and you're not looking at the two behind you. But I feel like this month, you guys got a reason to regret all the things you did for this person. You were so good to them. And they only gave you two cups, and these are spilt? Like, no. Like, you need to be the one that has five full cups. You're a cancer. You're the bomb. Think about it for a minute. What do you want, really? What do you deserve? You need to have power and bring that into you and be like, no one is giving me less than five cups. No one is spilling my cups of love. You bring it all or you bring nothing because I'm tired of giving, I'm taken. All right? And it doesn't mean you can't give. But it's got to be equal reciprocation. Always equal. All right, next. In your fourth position right here, we got influences of the others, which is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is like exploring opportunities. It could be third-party situations also. So, I mean, some people could think, like, your partner's cheating, or you could think your partner's cheating. It could also just mean, you know, you, maybe it's time for you to explore other opportunities. All right, because you want justice. Who doesn't want justice? You know, time to get some justice. And don't worry, I'll go over the signs when I'm done clarifying. And that's Major Arcana. Here we go, another Major Arcana. Uh, lovers, this is Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
um, may be a great and bad, or this new person you may find may be amazing and bad, this also means options. And this is a major arcana. All right, three of wands is not, but that is. And major arcanas are what's most important. And oh my God, another major arcana. Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is upright. It's going to turn your way. But just remember, we have free will in this life. Like, I can tell you your story and how it could go, but you have to make it go that way. You have to make this turn in your favor. you got to make good decisions. Don't keep making bad decisions and giving someone gas money and let them sit their ass on your couch. Say, get up, get a job, do it yourself. That's what you say. All right? And your friends are obviously saying it because there's three major arcanas on what your friends think and your family thinks about your relationship. And that says so much. I usually don't put much about that into that section of the deck, into this or into my spread. But seriously, I have never had three major arcana on what your friends and family think about your relationship. So think about that a little bit. All right. Now we got what should you do? We got the King of Cups. You need to go for the King of Cups. I shouldn't have to clarify that. You need a king of cups. Somebody that's going to give you a cup of love. And when someone gives you love, they give you all of them. They don't half-ass it. They don't take from you. They have equal reciprocation with you. They give to you. We don't even need to clarify that one. That's what the king of cups does. He is stable. He is reliable. He is the man. Whether he's a, a woman or a male. A woman can be the King of Cups. Just make sure that both of you are kind of being the King of Cups. That's what I feel. Both of you need to be the King of Cups. Spirit has said both of them need to be the King of Cups. You both need the King of Cups. After that, in our sixth position, we have what do you want out of this relationship? You don't know. You're going to go into hermit mode to think about it. Because this month, major shit's going to go down to kind of change what's going on with you. You're not sure if you want to keep this relationship. Let's see why. All right, we got five swords because you're having a little bit of conflict there. You know, there's a little conflict. And remember, conflict doesn't mean that you need to be fighting with someone. It could be internal conflict. Just remember that. After that, page of swords. So somebody's giving you like maybe a little bit of a page that's truthful. But a page is just like a text message or a little something. They give you a little something. Are they giving you enough, though, to make you happy? If not, the emperor is waiting for you. The emperor is the frickin' man. Could be an Aries. Look for an Aries. Aries are awesome. You know, I love Aries. Aries are a good time. All right, your outcome is the Six of Wands. We're looking at the Six of Wands. Victory. Remember what I said about that? And I said that I wasn't going to clarify it, but I am because I don't think you guys are sure. I think you're still stuck on this part of the deck right here, which is some fucking loser. Then right here, we have three major arcana that tells you you can turn your life around to find yourself a king of cups. If you just think about it with the hermit, and then at the end of that, you end up with an emperor which is the second arcana, major arcana in the deck. He is the man. And he can be a female too for you boys out there watching. He is the man. But you got to make the decision to do that. Remember, we have free will. And remember, time is fluid. So this may take a little longer than the end of July, but don't wait too long. Don't let somebody run you down. Do not let anyone run you down. You need to pick yourself up Look in the mirror and be like, this is who I am, and I'm gorgeous, and I'm beautiful. I don't care if what your weight is, how long your hair is, what you look like. There are always a thousand people out there on Tinder that will find you gorgeous. Guarantee it. All right. Six of Wands, which is victory. 
Or you know what? I'm not going to clarify victory. I think I just told you how to get your victory, didn't I? Yes, I did. Let's do oracle cards because I can spend better time doing those. All right, we'll do romance angels and then we'll do the soul's journey. All right, spirit. Mid-month for cancer, please. Mid-month for cancer, please. What is their victory and how do they get their mid-month cancer, please? That's what I'd like to see. And from what I see, you guys may, may need to switch a roo a little bit. Or if someone surprises you with a little email or phone call or a little Facebook text or whatever apps you guys use nowadays, Snapchat, Twitter, Twatter, whatever. I'm old. I only use Facebook. I'm over 40. So the other ones, forget about it. Like Donnie Brasco says, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more attractive. And you know what that means sometimes? The less you give, the more you get. Reciprocate equally with a person. I know I say that word funny. I have hay fever. I took a Claritin, but it's getting better. True love, this romance is the romance of a lifetime. It's only the romance of a lifetime if somebody is equally reciprocating with you. Just so y'all know. All right. Separation time apart from your partner may be on the horizon. Loser may have to get off the couch and get a job. That's all I got to say. All right. Let's do a couple soul's journey and I will get you guys out of here so I can start working on you... Uh, I would like to know in the comment section. I know I don't have a lot of followers, so I may not get any comments. But would you like to see you versus them or weeklies? Weekly. I could do you versus them weeklies and other love readings, or I can just do general weeklies. Tell me what you think. I hope that I tag right so this gets in the algorithm. I'm trying to understand tagging. Total computer retard. I'm doing my best here, though. So for those that did actually watch this video, thank you so much and I love you. And please subscribe and like because I will love you forever. Oh, and also at the end of the month, for people that subscribe to my newsletter on my website and also subscribe on here, I get free readings. And since I only have a few followers, you got a really good chance of getting that free reading. All right, health. I will honor my phys the physical vessel that and nourishes my soul. So this month, I want you guys to watch out for your health. Wear a mask, take care of yourself, drink lots of water, okay? Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay, the way I'm going to read this card because of your reading, empathy goes to a certain point, okay? Only have empathy for a certain point. People that deserve empathy, not people that don't, not people that will take advantage of you. Okay, next, pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. That is beautiful, but just remember, everyone doesn't have, you know, your bank account number. That's yours. And rights to your couch. Just so you know. All right, I'm Stella K. Thank you so much for watching my video. You don't know how thankful I am to people that are giving the new girl a chance. So please, like, all the description or all the stuff you need to know is in the description down below. You don't have much competition, so you got a good chance of getting a free reading. And it's like a 45-minute, you know, free reading. I'll do it just like I do my live ones. And I love you and enjoy July. Mwah. Love you, Cancers.